What is up fellow fish tankers, Zach here. Bringing you all a new video real quick. Got some of the tanks over here set up. Pretty pumped, loving this room right now. Still gonna take some work. Here's the 125 as always. He's got a random Amazon sword in here. An Ozzelot sword floating in there. With all my cichlids, a couple rainbows. You know, some fish I traded for. Um, here is my 55 gallon, guys. Got this bad boy moved over here. Got it set up on the stand, my homemade stand that I built. Oh yeah. These are all, my, these are all plants I got from my boy Urge. Yeah, I broke down his tank and I kind of uh, you know, set up this uh, 55 gallon aquascape here. Pretty simple. I'm sure you guys seen a couple of my, couple of my older vids. Where, when the just when I just set it up, I wanted something nice and sweet, you know. Pretty much uh, the main focus in here. Well, plant type is uh, the dwarf sage, as you can see. Pretty simple. You know, my hardscape. I got a nice uh, rock, some type of saltwater rock in there. I had when I did my saltwater tank. You know, got this nice piece of uh, wood. It wasn't really a driftwood. But I turned it into one. Looks pretty sweet. I got a crap ton of snails in here. Got them from Urge. Hey, but they work out. I'll get something in here. I could put some loaches in here, but the thing with loaches are they dig up, they tear stuff up, pull dirt up. As you can see in here, on 125, they dug all that down. These sweet, uh, Tiger loaches, there's one right there. They'd love to eat all those snails though. But I'm not trying to destroy the aquascape here. Um, when I moved it over from the from the house, the parents' house right over there, I pretty much drained the tank down about right here. That's about all the water I could get at it from because this was sitting on the floor. And of course, uh, you know, walking with the water kind of storks stirred up some of the the dirt, pulled some dirt up, some of the sand cap came down, you can see it dips down a little lower right there. Um, but yeah, this plan, this tank's developing, I really, love, really like it. So I'm running uh, two T5 bulbs here, high output. Um, I threw the filter on here, I haven't had a filter on here when this tank was first set up, but I threw it on here just to kind of clear that dirt up in this tank. Clean the water up, because it was brown and hazy. So it's doing pretty good. Other sounds you're hearing is my 55 gallon tank. Uh, crayfish tank for my boy Juicy. Got some snails in there. It's kind of nice now. I don't have to go to the river, drive down to the river anymore. At my old place, I got a, a nice creek in the backyard. A nice creek, I should say. Tons of crayfish. Just get tons of crays there. Got my turtles moved in. Got their setup. Put them in here today. But what I'm gonna do? Let me step back a little bit. I'm gonna eventually. I'm gonna build like a. I think Juicy's gonna go right through here. I gotta get rid of this hose. This is from the dryer. I gotta move that. It's gonna get tore out. But uh. I'm probably gonna put the big, uh, like a 500 or 400 gallon tank in here in the back. Um, I need to build some type of stands, uh, double stands or something from other tanks, which I might just keep as uh, breeding tanks for the crayfish for the winter time, especially for the winter time. I might turn this into a turtle tank. I'm not sure, cause Juicy will be going into the obviously the bigger 400 gallon tank. Yeah, guys, I just love this room, I guess. It's like the ultimate, uh, it's gonna be the ultimate fish tank room for now. But, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm trying to bring you guys videos more often. You know, I'm out here in the country, so I don't have, you know, DSL cable. I'm on satellite. So when I upload my videos, I'm going to upload them at work on that. Um, their Wi-Fi there, so... That's how I have to do my videos now. I can't bring a spare of the moment. I gotta wait and upload them at work. So, now I appreciate all you subscribers out there being uh, patient 
with the videos and they'll uh, during that time I could have lost a couple but we got some of you guys you know been uh, faithful that's what I like to know I like to see but uh, and we'll tune in next time later